Ladies and gentlemen, let us create glow effect for our photos and images using Inkscape. Here we are in Inkscape. Glow effect comes out best when the background is in any shade of dark color. So I need to create a very dark background. I go here to pick the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. Oops, this is not the color that I want, so I need to change the color here to complete black color. Then I use the selection tool, select it and drag to cover everywhere. Next is to get the photo that I'll be using here. So I open the library from my computer, select the photo that I want, then drag into Inkscape. The photo that I'm using here is completely free to download and absolutely free to use for any purpose. If you want this exact photo for any of your project, the link to download it is already in the description below. Please check that out and use the link to download it for yourself. Now if I drag from this corner edge to adjust the size, I may be tempted to lose my dimensions. I have to use Ctrl Z to return it. And that happened because the padlock here is open. So I need to lock this padlock. Now it is locked. I can drag from the corner edge now without losing my dimensions. Select the image and right click to duplicate. You can use Ctrl D to do that as well. Keep the duplicate copy somewhere here. Now select the one behind. Select the image behind. Yes, this is the one behind. Have it selected. Then go to filter. From filter to color. And from color to colorize. I need to click live preview to see the effect of what I'm doing. Now as it is, no matter how I click any color, either a very light color or I click a very dark color or no matter how I try to make it dark, you can see the reflection of the image is still there and it should not be. So we need to fix that. What we need to do is we go to options, under colorize and set the normal light to zero, drag it down to zero. Now you can see it is on flat color now. Now I can give it any color that I want. So I go to color, still on that colorize. As it is on RGB, it might not be easy to see or select the color that I want. It is better I select HSL or HSV. HSL or HSV is just for me to have good view of all the colors at once. Then it's easy for me to select the one that I want. Here I'm selecting the 180 pink. Keep it brighter here to 100, keep it brighter here to 100, then I can apply. Once I click apply, the button for live preview goes off. That shows it is done on the project. So you need to be careful so you don't do it multiple times and have multiple effects unnecessarily. I apply once, it is done, then I take this away for now. The next is to get the fill and stroke tab. So I come here to the this field here. Then click on the onset. Once I click on this onset here, it opens the fill and stroke tab for me. Alternatively, we can just select the object we want, have it selected, then go to object at the top here. Then you see fill and stroke. It lands you here as well. What we need here is the blur. So we need to drag the blur up to 30. You can input the numbers manually. 3, 0, enter key. And it's done. We can take this away for now. Select the original photo, drag and snap it on the pink image there. It snaps accurately to the center because the snapping tool is turned on. I want to quickly show you how to create more realistic glow effect. So I right click on this and duplicate. Duplicate the original photo there, keep it here. Use this button here to flip it horizontally. Right mouse click on the image and duplicate. Drag out the duplicate copy. Select the image behind and repeat the same process for colorize just like we did for the first one. And this time we are giving it this lighter blue. Apply. Open the fill and stroke and set the blur to 30 just like we did. Select the original photo, drag and snap it on the blue glow. And that's because the snapping tool here is turned on. 
now since it is turned on it snaps perfectly if it is turned off let me turn it off then you will, I will have to drag and assume the right position which I might not be accurate I might not be perfect alternatively I need to use the align and distribute to fix that but it's better if the snapping tool is turned on then drag snap you see the notification at the bottom here is there so that's better to give it more realistic effect I need to select the image at the top right mouse click and duplicate and repeat that same process of colorize like we did before to create a white glow. Set the blur to 40. This time we are giving it 40 and not 30 like the others. And that is because we want this whiter one to come out beyond others. Snap it right there. Don't forget the snap it tool is turned on so it is fitted at the right place there. Now I come to the top here to send it to back. If I click on this particular button, if I use this, it sends it completely to the back, right behind all we have created. It is now right behind the black background, the black rectangle there. I use Ctrl Z to bring it back. So what we need to use is to use this other one here to send it one step backward. Now, if this is what you want, you can leave it like this. It is already glowing and it's a better effect. Or you can take it one more step backward to keep it behind the blue. You may want to check my videos on all this. All these and many more are already in the description for you. Please check them out. It will be good if you subscribe to this channel and give this video a thumbs up. That is, you like this video. All these really do help. And as I always do, thank you for watching.